Chapter 47, Good People Do Not Come Out of Their Mouths At one time, Buddha lived in a city called Kumadusa in the Sakya tribe, and at that time, Buddha put on his robes before noon and entered the city of Kumadusa with a rice bowl to go door to house, regardless of the rich and the poor. At that time, the Brahmins in the city of Kumadusa were meeting in a large house with drizzle in the sky. The Buddha came outside the big house where the Brahmins gathered. When the Brahmins of these gatherings saw the Buddha coming towards them, they said to each other, Who is this useless bald monk? Don't you know that we are having a party here? Doesn't he understand the rules of the party? Those who come after cannot enter through the main entrance, but must enter the venue through the side entrance. There were many respected elders in the meeting place, and there were many learned teachers, and all the wise and virtuous people who came to our meeting were gathered here, and this bald monk who did not know the etiquette at all and wanted to enter the meeting place through the main gate, such an impudent person should drive him away. The Buddha said to the Brahmins in the hall, those who do not do good deeds in their physical deeds, do not speak good words with their mouths, do not generate good thoughts in their hearts, do not practice evil and good deeds, do not take precepts, do not help the masses to eliminate their troubles and sufferings, they are not good people, they are not wise people, and their meetings are not meetings of good people. Those who have eliminated the greed, anger, and foolishness in their hearts, those who do good deeds, words, and thoughts, stop evil and cultivate good, those who understand that doing more good deeds can plant a lot of merit, and doing more evil deeds can create a lot of sinful karma, who believe in cause and effect, who take the precepts, and who help the public to eliminate their troubles and suffering, they are the true good people, they are the wise people, and their meeting is the gathering of the good. At this time, the Buddha said, he who speaks the law is not a good person. Where there is no good man, it is not a good assembly. If you put an end to greed, anger, and foolishness. If you can speak like the law, you are called a good person. After the Buddha spoke, the Brahmins in the meeting room all knelt on the ground and said to the Buddha in unison, Dade, please forgive us for being rude to you, we were angry just now and slandered you, this is not the work of practitioners at all, we are still here to consider ourselves good people, we are still proud that the good people of Komadusa city are gathered here, we are really ignorant people. How can we claim to be wise and virtuous if we do not do good deeds, do not stop evil and cultivate good, do not take good precepts, and do not receive good precepts? Fortunately, today you have come to correct our incorrect insights and practices. Dade, what you just said is like correcting something crooked and revealing something hidden. What you just said is like telling a lost person the right path. Dade, what you just said is like a torch that shines in the night, so that people in the darkness can see what is around them and the road under their feet. Dade, the other dharma you mentioned is the same, Dade, please let us take refuge in you, take refuge in your dharma, take refuge in your sangha, we are willing to be your home practice disciples for the rest of our lives, we are willing to receive the precepts you have made for the rest of our lives, we are willing to practice according to your dharma for the rest of our lives. Buddha accepted these Brahman conversions.